happy Thursday, Oakley Church. I want to share a brief word with you. We're in the middle of a fast. We're actually sort of in the middle of our fast. I want us to persevere in this, and I want us to really push through this time of fast and even consider a continued fast and more time to pray and to seek God's word as we journey. Uh, in this series that we're in called Alignment, it has much to do with a vision that God has for our church, which also has a lot to do with the vision that God has for you personally. So in the middle of this uh, fast, I wanna kind of celebrate the halfway point, but also remind you to persevere with me. Persevere as a personally in our personal lives, but persevere as a church as well. You know, Paul uh, reminds the Hebrews in chapter 10, verse 36, and he says, you, you know, you have to persevere. You have to continue because, because you will be able to uh, receive the promise that God has given you. You know that when we're talking about alignment in this series, we're talking about how can we get right with you, God? How can we get to the right place? Those of you that may have missed last night's uh, Bible study and worship time, really worship time was, was key to our study last night. And we hardly got to the middle of our study because of what we began to talk about after worship. And this is, and it's the idea that we can't lose sight uh, that the fact that people are fading, people are running away even from the church and from God. And there are people who need you to speak into their lives. And so that's got to be at the heart of any goal that we would have. Any alignment that we would have would involve uh, introducing people to Jesus and introducing Jesus to the heart of our community. So it is about salvation. That's number one. People can't be blessed and move on in their walk and persevere in God's will until first they've given up uh, their life and committed themselves to what God really wants for them. And that is to repent and go after Christ. And so sticking to that message, and as we move forward, I wanna encourage you, as we persevere and as we align ourselves with God's plan, that we know he has an assignment for each and every one of us. And the reason Paul says that to the, in the book of Hebrews is that we have to persevere so that we can attain that promise that God has for us. So I wanna encourage you in the middle of this fast, keep fasting, keep praying, keep seeking God, keep seeking his word and seeking his will for your life. I wanna encourage you in this. I wanna pray for you real quick. Father, I pray right now that over this church, over this church body, over every person that listens to this today, God, that you would bless them in this time, but not a blessing that just rains showers of things around them, but blessings, God, that would rain inside of our lives, that would begin to change us, begin to line us with your plan for our life. And God, we give you all the glory for that. I pray for healing right now in families that need healing. And I pray that as we seek you, others will find you through our seeking. They will begin to question, God, what are they after? And Lord, I pray that the world around us has changed, that our community has changed because of what you're doing right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, listen, have a, have a great rest of the Thursday. I said that we would do a, a weekly um, thing like this. So I want to try and continue that just to get the word and the encouragement to you. God bless you, um, and I'll see you soon.